good morning and welcome to another episode of Morning Market Call. I'm your host, Joel Toby, and with me I have Julie Edgen. Hi. Thanks for joining us, Julie. Thanks. All right, so you're a second year MBA, fellow colleague of mine, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to talk about something you know, really close to our hearts. Um, that is, why did we, uh, you specifically, why did you choose to do an MBA? And then, you know, maybe then why BYU? Yeah, well, I think we all have our own reasons of why we chose to come get an MBA. Um, for me, I had been working with a lot of businesses. I worked for Franklin Covey before coming back to school and had a lot of opportunities just to kind of to do trainings, you know, work with um, people who did trainings for companies. And I just thought, you know, I, I really want to learn how to do that myself and learn how to train and develop leaders myself. And that's why, one, I chose OBHR. But then two, um, I, I realized and after kind of looking around at other schools that BYU has a really great OBHR program. It's one of the best in the nation, so. Okay, were there other things about BYU that stood out to you besides the great OBHR program? Yeah, I think, I mean, one of the great things is, I mean, I did my undergrad here and so I knew kind of what I was getting myself into as far as the culture. I mean, obviously the, the, the money that we, I mean, that, that it takes to to afford an MBA is so mm -hmm. much, you know, I mean, it's just pennies in comparison to other schools, mm -hmm. but just kind of like the, I like the whole enter, learn, go forth to serve the gospel um, aspect of, of an education. So yeah, I think all of that and just opportunity to meet the great people that I knew I would meet. So yeah, I, I, you know, I would agree full heart, you know, with that, the whole mission, uh, it just it helps bring everything together in a whole perspective of a unified person going out not as not just as a business person but as a real person into the yeah. world making a difference absolutely um, you know whether that's in the business whether that's with your family or your community um, and uh, and BYU encourages that and fosters that um, so what is maybe the greatest thing that you can think of when you think of the BYU MBA program well, I remember when um, when Dr. Merrill, when we had our orientation together, uh -huh. one of the things that he said that we would take away is the network of people that we would come in contact with and just those relationships. And I think that's something I just, I have valued so much is just getting to know my classmates. There's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of new students of first years. I still have to get to know a lot of them, but just that opportunity to, to mingle with those people who also have similar feelings of, you know, not just wanting to like go out and become very successful, but to, to contribute and to give back and to that kind of that holistic approach with the gospel insights. So I think just, I really think the greatest thing I've taken a, or will take away from this MBA experience is just the great network of, of friends and colleagues. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember last year working with you in the student life, you know, organization, and yeah. we're helping organize uh, activities and things. You know, I remember you know thinking about you and just how. Uh, you were able to get things done. I was really impressed. And <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, you know, that now as a second year, you're the executive vi vice president of Student Life. Um, and because that, that helps uh, enrich the MBA experience. Um, so on that topic, though, what are some things that maybe we uh, need to look out for? What are some, you know, activities, some, some things that we should be look, looking forward to as, as we wrap up this year? Yeah, well, so one of a couple of the things that we're planning to do is to to do a tubing um, activity at Soldier Hollow if we can get some snow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if it's open actually right now, but I already heard of a, another organized snow event that was canceled. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to cross my fingers. So doing that, we also want to do. Uh, we'll have a variety show, kind of like a talent show. Hopefully, you'll participate again. Oh, my wife and I are preparing for it. So. Perfect. It'll be good. The closing social, um, and then one of the big things that we do have coming up is student elections. So for all of you first years out there, definitely want to consider um, running for for student body um, positions. Like it's a really great opportunity just to get involved. I mean, it does build a resume, but it's just I think the most valuable thing is just to get involved with people and mm -hmm. with the faculty. It's just it, it's been a great experience. I love it so. Well, great. Well, Julie, thank you for spending your time with us thank today you. and sharing with us uh, your passion for the program. Uh, this wraps up another great episode of Morning Market Call. Uh, don't forget to, to visit us at www.morningmarketcall.org, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. MMC is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in association with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MNC is made possible by a generous donation from Larry Tazjan and Gary Williams and is produced by Rhett Weller, Todd Castagna, Mason Chen, Joel Tovey, and Sabrina Beck, with line producing by Kika Latu. 
For more information, find us on our Facebook and Twitter or at morningmarketcall.org.